What is going on guys? Opulent Vision back with Road to Sub 20, episode 6. And I'm just going to be blatantly honest with this one. My average was a little bit slower this week. I had some pretty crappy solves. Um, and I think that's kind of due to me being sick, if you can't hear it in my voice. But that's just my excuse. Hopefully next week we can get a bit quicker of an average. Uh, but without further ado, um, make sure you check the description. we got a giveaway going on that will be ending very soon. Um, and it's free to join, so go ahead, make sure you do everything you need to do for that. But let's go ahead and get into the questions. And if you got any questions for this week, uh, well, I guess that I'll be answering for next week. Go ahead and leave those in the comments. Um, but this week I went ahead and answered some old questions that I never really got around to. Um, so we're going to start with Rubik Cubic 313. Will you ever practice two by two? Oh man, that's a loaded question. Um, I I'm still somebody who solves two by two with like the three by three method. I don't know Ortega, um, never really had the want to go learn it. Um, but one of my 2024 goals is to get quicker at the two by two. And I don't want to do it by solving the three by three method. I'd rather learn Ortega and just have another skill in my cubing world that I can be a little bit better at. So I eventually will practice two by two, and I do want to get faster at that, but that probably won't happen for a little bit. But yes, I will practice two by two sometime. Uh, next question coming in from Dini Z Consone, one one oh eight. What's your favorite three by three shape mod? Um, okay, so I was thinking about this when I saw the question. I don't know if this really counts, but I love the gear cube. I think those are super fun to solve. Um, I've only ever solved the gear cube sandwich, so I don't know if that really counts, but other than that, I really enjoy the windmill cube. I think that's really fun for me. Um, and especially like getting the centers aligned and everything, it kind of feels like a ghost cube, which makes me feel cool. Not going to lie. Uh, Admiral Rob asked, uh, he, oh, well, he says, don't stop the will it lube series. Uh, he would not have given my channel a chance if it wasn't for that series. I will bring that back. Um, I'm kind of like in the middle of like moving. Um, I'm moving, well, I guess a couple cities over. So like two and a half hours away. So it's kind of like a, like, I don't know. I want to get all set up before I can make that series again, but maybe I'll break what I want to do and just go ahead and make the series. So we'll be coming soon. Um, so stay tuned for that. I think we got next on the list ketchup, then ice cream. I think a couple of you guys were asking, so those should be some pretty fun videos to film. But as I always say, coming soon. Uh, Pi Cubing 3.14 says, is this a question? Yes, Pi, this is a question. Uh, Dini Kinsone 1108 again says, how good is your $700 cube? Oh man, uh, a couple of you guys know I have like the Fangshi Illusion uh, V1, which somehow people have been selling it for outrageous amounts of money. Uh, last time it was sold was a couple years ago for $700. And I just have one in my collection randomly. It's a Fangshi V1, so it was really good back in the day. Um, but I guess the thing with Fangshis is they made them unpoppable and made corner twists pretty much impossible. So pretty scratchy feeling cube, um, no magnets in it. So it's, I guess, tougher if you've been using magnetized cubes for a while, but I think it's good. I really enjoy solving it, but I, I don't think it's a cube that everyone would enjoy solving. Um, next question, Abram7824, what video games do you like? I kind of touched on this in the last episode, but I've been playing a lot of Helldivers 2, uh, The Division 2, and then I guess mobile, I always play Clash of Clans every day. Just about to upgrade to Town Hall 14, so if any of you guys play that, uh, that's kind of where I sit, but I always max out my base first. So that's uh, what games I like. William Wildcat, what's your opinion on sushi? Oh man, this is hard. I um, am in the middle of nowhere, Kansas, so the sushi they sell here is really, really bad, like old fish that they've transported thousands of miles to get here, so the sushi in Kansas sucks. Um, one thing I do want to say, though, is I went to Mexico a couple years ago, and I got sushi there, which I guess if you guys know geography, Mexico is like right by the sea, so it was really, really good sushi, really fresh. 
Um, and I thought it was pretty good. Um, but that's not something I eat all the time. So, uh, that's, I guess that's my thoughts on sushi. Uh, spy popped asks, what is the hardest puzzle you have ever solved? Uh, that's a tough question. I just got a 10 by 10. I don't think it's really hard, but it definitely takes the longest out of any of my puzzles to solve. But I think the hardest one I've ever solved, um, was the ghost cube. It took me like a couple days, just like slowly messing with it. Um, and eventually got it to be solved. Um, and this is like the Mefferts ghost cube. So it's all one color. It's not the, um, it's not like a windmill cube where you have normal Rubik's cube colors on it. That would make it way too easy. But yeah, I guess I'll call that the hardest puzzle I solved. I don't know if we really count that. Uh, Raspberry Cuber, what is your favorite cube of all time? Um, I really like, I guess for three by threes, I've been using this Wave Rider V1 and that's my main. So I'm going to call that my favorite cube. Um, but if we're talking like any cube ever, um, like I just said, I just got a 10 by 10 and that's probably one of my like all time favorites right now, just cause it's like, it's huge and it looks cool. And when you solve it, people are like extremely impressed. So I was like, that's super fun. Um, one of my favorites, um, but that's all the questions we have time for today. So again, leave your questions in the comments, but for today's challenge, we are going to be solving the, uh, sandwich gear cube that I was talking about earlier. Um, and these are actually really easy to solve. So I ended up getting a pretty good time, but again, our average was a bit slower this week. So we'll definitely work next week to improve on that. But if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like comment and subscribe because it helps me out a lot. And remember to have a good one. Peace.